I would probably define greatness as getting the most out of your potential because everybody can do it, you know? We all can f fulfill our potential and, and try to be the best versions of ourselves. And I think you can't ask for more uh, in a person, so I think we can all try to achieve greatness in, in our way. The journey is probably filled with some doubt, but I think deep inside you need to really believe it. I think for me it's been one of my secrets not to talk too much about it, but to do the things that I, that I know has to be done to, to achieve those things. And when you do those things, you, you feel very well prepared. And when you go to the starting line, you, you know that you have a good chance at winning. The time when I won the World Championships in London, I think that was a surprise to me and a surprise to everyone. So that was sort of like my breakthrough and I didn't expect it, but, but also there I knew that I had a chance. It was a very special moment and probably one of the most memorable moments because uh, the victories that you, that you haven't prepared for mentally, those are probably the, the biggest surprises. I knew that I was able to do it, but at the same time I knew that, you know, breaking the world record is a difficult thing. It's a reason why the record was standing for, how was it, 29 years? So I knew it was going to be difficult, but you know, in, in training you can see that, okay, I have, I have the potential to do it, and, um, and also it would be a dream of mine to, to do it on home soil. If somebody told me that the silver medal would be handed out at 4017, I would lose my mind because it's so crazy. But, but at the same time, I knew that it was going to be a tough fight for, for the gold. And I think everybody was just fighting for the medals. Yeah, seeing that number, I thought, you know, this must be wrong. But yeah, it was correct, so I'm happy. But now I'm in a defending position, but after a while, you need to be in that position if you if you want to do uh, great things in your sport because, you know, once you achieve those things, people want to have your position and, and then you need to do everything to, to defend it. And I've learned a lot from that journey as well because you realize that this is not a position that you will have forever, you know, everybody is coming for you and you need to do a lot of the right things to, to be able to, to maintain your position. You need to be willing to take some risks. Even though you're a favorite, you need to attack every race like you're not. Of course, I'm defending my titles, but in a race, I'm not you know, defending my position. I'm always attacking. Right now, I'm in a position where I kind of completed the game. So I won everything that you can win in my career because before I always had you know, these goals. It was a gold medal that I didn't have or a new record I could break. So that I feel like you know, I can let my shoulders down and and try to you know, find more of the motivation that I used way back when I just started. You know? now, now I just do this because I really enjoy it. And you know, the only thing that's better than one gold medal is two. And that's facts. I think it's always nice to be surrounded by, by people that, that do great stuff. But at the same time, it's also very cool to see what happens behind because I think we're always exposed to the results, but now I have a unique chance to see what happens also behind the curtains. And I think that's the most special thing because the results is always a product of the work that you put in and the people that are around you. So, so I actually like that very much.